What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Last year we spent some time with Jack Patillo of Rooster Teeth for his Monster Doom PC that I built for him, and he recently called me to come back to Texas to help him with another Doom project. Let's go hear what he has in store for me. Hi, I'm Jack Patillo. You may have seen me on a GeForce Garage episode last year where the guys at GeForce Garage made me a Doom themed machine that was amazing, but time came when I wanted to do a two PC setup so I built my second machine. Doesn't look as good as what, as what they gave me. So I wanted to make my own streaming machine that could match the coolness of the original Doom machine, so I'm making Doom 2. My buddy Dwight from NVIDIA flew out to Austin. He's gonna help me build a machine, show me the tips and tricks that he used on my original machine. But first things first, we gotta go shopping. We got some goodies. So it's the art store, got some red paint, various versions of it, so, and some brushes. Do some splatter, blood splatter. Okay, so Dwight, let's get to work on this guy. It's done. Doom 2 is finished and holy crap, it looks amazing. So let me walk you through kind of the process that Dwight and I went through. Started out the exact same case, Corsair 780T. We sanded the case down to prep it for paint, but then we got polystyrene and we actually cut out all these little extra bits here. So like the bottom, these little chevrons, these lines. We actually had really thin polystyrene, so we had to double up layers and then Gorilla Glue all these different pieces on. Once we got all that down, once we had it all put on, then it was pretty much ready to paint. So we took it outside, Dwight spray painted it with his masterful hand. We did two layers of red and then two layers of this Doom Green. That way later it all the, the red would kind of shine through when we sanded it off, but we'll get to that in a minute. So spray painted it all on. While that was drying and kind of curing, we actually did some vinyl cuts, like these little hashes here. The uh, uh, Demonic Invasion in Progress, which is a fantastic line. We did that on the top there. We did a little UAC logo, just a bunch of really cool iconography. We made this big vinyl of the logo of Doom, put it on the back panel. Initially, we just assumed it wasn't gonna go well. We assumed it was gonna tear the paint. It peeled off perfectly, so much so that we were like, I don't wanna touch this because it looks so good. But even with that, we sandpapered it down, we buffed it out and made these really cool lines, the red and the green and the black of the actual case. Came out so damn well. So that was pretty much the end of day one. We got the paint done. We got the vinyls cut and we slept because <laughs> we did about six hours of day one of just prepping the case. Day two, we came back. The paint was all pretty much done. Then we just beat the hell out of it. I did some blood splatter all over it, put my handprint on it as well. So this is actually my handprint, a little smearing down the side. It looks so damn cool. Just from the outside, that's before you even turn it on. But then Dwight and I, we moved all the components from my old streaming machine, put it into this giant case. And my lord, when that thing kicked on and that red hit, I wanted it to look like it was bad, like hell had taken over, and that's pretty much exactly what we got, and I couldn't be happier. Thanks, Jack. That was a really intense two days of modding, but it really did come out great. I think you have a knack for this. If you guys want to see more of Jack, Rooster Teeth is hosting their annual 24-hour Extra Life live stream to raise money for local children hospitals, and the last few years have been a wild ride. There's going to be a link down below with more information, and while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you for the next one.